pray. Most gracious God, how great God. Well, Heavenly Father, we come together in this great celebration. Yes, Lord. We celebrate the life that you have blessed us to know and to come to love. Awesome. Most gracious God, my Father, the family need comfort today. Lord, help. Heavenly Father, a lot of hearts are hurting. A lot of tears have been shed. Well, but God, you are God, God of all tears. Yeah. And we thank you, Father, for your love. You. Because, God, you promised us that you would never leave us, right. nor will you forsake us. Right. God, you said that you would be with us always, right. even until the end of time. Well, God, we can count upon you, Lord. Let the family know, God, that this night, of a loved one that has been taken from the Lord. That Father, we all must come this way. Well, yes. most gracious God, we realize, God, that, that words can't always comfort us. But God, you give us peace in the midst of our storm. Yes. You are storm calmer. Yes. You speak to us, God. And I will most hurting and painful day. Look down upon this family, the niece, grandchildren, nephews, friends. We want to thank you. We want to thank you, Father, for the opportunity to have fellowship with this great lady of God. And God, I pray that anyone in this house that is not saved. God, I pray when our pastors stand before your people, preach the word, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that someone's heart may be convicted and that they may come running and saying, what must I do to be saved? Touch today, God. Let your spirit move upon your house, upon your people. Give us encouraging, words, encourage our hearts, edify your church, restrict in this family in this time of bereavement. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth, yeah. the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen. Amen. And the church said? Yeah. program calls for words of comfort. Amen. The family has requested two minutes. All right. Uh, the first five people that stand from the floor will be allowed to speak today. We would like to have words. First five, I see them come, can speak at this time. It's open for expressions. We have room for five. Stay if you don't want to express this. There's one. Anyone else? Going twice. You get to speak for everybody on the floor. Come on. I'll give you four minutes. Thank you. First, giving praises to my Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, to my pastor, Reverend Hill, and to the pastors and ministers that assemble here today, and to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I got up to stand to let Sister Mayhem's family know that she was well loved here at Greater Mount Pilgrim. She served well. She was a faithful lady of God. And I remember on Mother's Day, her nephew gave her her roses. But she could smell it and see her roses. Brother Johnny spoke well about his aunt. And then last Sunday, when I got ready, the Sunday before she passed, before I got ready to leave, I went back there and spoke to her. Because I tell her, I don't want no handshake. I want my hug and my kiss every Sunday before I leave here until I see her the following Sunday. 
But I would just like the family to know that Sister Maine was in a better place. God saw that she was getting a little tired. So he decided to come down and pick that beautiful flower and take her on to heaven to be with him. So she's at a good place. There's no more pain and no more sorrow. So to the family, look to the hill which come at your help. And your help coming from the Lord, she will truly be missed. Amen? Amen. Always at the door, such a quiet spirit. We thank God for the men of God that have turned aside from their busy schedule today. We're going to share, we're going to ask these preachers to start. <coughs> Reverend Miller, Reverend Hadnock, and Reverend Garden, amen. Reverend Smith, in that order, amen. And then Pastor Martin, amen. 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 Two minutes. <laughs> I, I told Pastor Whip that I needed about two hours to talk about the news of Sister Maggie. But I'm going to keep you brief. I mean, I've been knowing her all my life. She knew me before I knew myself, amen. And every Sunday, uh, she was just a greeter at the door. We always had that lovely smile on her face, and she made you feel welcome whenever you walked in the door. She made you feel welcome going out the door. So she's a sweetheart of a person. And Sister Cosby said she's going to be missed here. And we all love her. And, uh, and she said, no more suffering, no more pain. We all needed another flower for the Lord. So we took our sister home. We will miss her. We love her. God will love her more. God bless you.
she's going to be truly missed. Yeah. Yeah. Especially here at the Great Mount Pilgrim Church family. Amen. When we walk through the door, we won't see Sister Mac. Amen. But we'll just remember how she smiled and greeted us yeah. during that time of us coming in. Yes, sir. And we all used to sit and wait for a mentor lift to come. And she used to get so angry at them when they were running late. And she said, well, I, don't you know I got to go? <laughs> and she used to get so upset when they go way out the way just to get her back home. So a lot of times I would tell her, just ride your metro and I'll take you back home. Oh, you would do that, Bob? I said, yeah, I'll take you back home, no problem. So God loved her best. So we just need to just take an example from her and just stay on the Lord's side and stay with the Lord. And God bless you and God keep you cooking. Rena, Jarvis, all of y'all, Rena, y'all know that she loved all of you. That was her work. May God bless you, Charles. She was there for you. Amen. Good morning. Megan, as, as I knew her, had the opportunity of meeting her in 2005, coming from New Orleans due to Hurricane Katrina. Uh, I, I know that I never knew her, you know, outside of, of the church here at Great Mount Pilgrim, but I, I know and knew her here at Great Mount Pilgrim for her, her faithfulness. Very faithful in where God had placed her, being as an usher, always manding her post, always there. And then uh, having the opportunity to, to be in Sunday school and become a superintendent of Sunday school here at Greater Mount Pyrgum. Over the years that Chairman Ellis was there, uh, Sister Mangum was there. She was always there. She always had Jenny right there. Uh, having, uh, being able to give to her her flowers where she, while she was still living. Uh, when I became the superintendent of Sunday school, we, we blessed her with a plaque uh, for her faithfulness in Sunday school. And I know that God is going to reward her greatly for her faithfulness Amen. here at the Great Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church. I thank God that I had the opportunity to share in her blessings and, and give her a reward while she was still living for her faithfulness in Sunday school. To the family, I just say be encouraged. Be encouraged. Uh, let us say praise the Lord. Praise Come on, Lord. make some noise. Look like y'all trying to have a funeral. This is the home going that we ever was on. And we thank God for uh, I don't mean no any disrespect. I never call my sister member or my sister Ryan. I call her Lottie B. <laughs> to the right place uh, when I was here, make you feel welcome yeah. uh, when you came, amen? amen? And so we thank God, and we always miss people like that. I've known this family for a long time, and I hung out with some of them, and, and did, did some things with some of them we're not going to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> She was always steadfast, amen? Yeah. Yeah. And we thank you, God, amen? Um, the scripture I've been, I, I've been, you know, you have to be careful not to the scripture because you're not preaching. But um, this is a scripture I've been toiling over for my life, but I just want to throw it out to you. It's, it's uh, Genesis 5, 22 through 24. And it's about him. It said, he walked with God. And God took him. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and 
God took it. And the thing that's been, I've been mulling on God in a walk with God. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I try to make God walk with me. Yes, yeah. sir. Amen. Right. He don't want to walk with me. He want, he want to call the shots in my life. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. And I think he want to call the shots in all our lives. Yeah. So let's try to get to the place where we walk with God. Yeah. And when this day comes, everybody will know yeah. we went to be with God. Amen. Yeah. Because he promised us a reward after this life is over. Amen. Yeah. So to all you stewards, man, and uh, God bless you. Um, I almost called him my nickname, Albert. <laughs> God bless you, man. And I pray God blessings upon uh what the police lady. Hey, how you doing? She did some police and folks. So we thank God Amen. God bless you and may God keep you. Amen. The church said. Amen. Thank you for their comments and words of exaltation this day. Amen. I remember a lot of B. Hunt and Jimmy Lee would get together and boy, when they started laughing, God, I didn't know what they talking about, but boy, they'd be loud. But they had a good time. And we thank the Lord for the spirit and our faithfulness to God. And all I want to say is, being faithful to God will pay off in the end. Amen. Amen. God won't forget about you. You do things for folks, folks will get quick. But God will never forget what you did for me. And that's why the psalmist says, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to stand in the tents of the wicked. Amen. Just, being, just keeping the door. Most folks may think that's trivia, but with God, everything's important. Amen. We're up to acknowledgments and resolutions. Great amount of your at this time. Resolutions. Following that, we'll have a selection from the choir. First of all, I'd like to give congratulations to God who's ahead of my life. Pastor Hero, Pastor Blake, Pastor Marshall, and Associate Ministers on the roster. Revolution for Sister Lottie Mangum. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may also be. John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. On behalf of, on behalf of Pastor George E. Hill, the officers and members of Great Mount Pure Missionary Baptist, Baptist Church, in serenity, extend our deepest and most sincere condolence to Brother Johnny Green, the Stewart family, and the Mangum family upon the passing of your loved one, Sister Lottie Mangum. Be it resolved that we express to the relatives and friends who grieve over the loss of their loved one, our deepest sympathy commend you to the one who is able to heal all sorrow. Sister Mangum has gone home to be with the Lord, but she will always live in our hearts. She had been a member of Greater Mile Pilgrim for over 57 years. Amen. Over the years, she was a member of the Senior Mass Choir, Women Mission Society, Pastor A Committee, and held the Office of Treasure. She later became an usher, and that's where she found her calling to be a doorkeeper for the Lord's house. She loved her family, her church family, and church in church and would do whatever she could to be in service to Ursula regardless how she felt. For a day in thy court is better than a thousand. I had 
I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my, of my guards than to do well in the tent of wickedness. Psalms 84 verse 10. On May 24, 2019, Sister Manning heard the great voice from heaven and saw that holy city where the streets are made of gold, where God's light ultimate and the light of the Lamb, Jesus, Christ Jesus, shines. She took God's hand and received her crown of life. Now she is one of God's people in heaven, and God himself shall be with Sister Mangum and be her God. Be it further resolved that in your time of sorrow that for comfort you rely upon the Lord, our Savior, for he said in Matthew chapter 5, verse, verse 4, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Isaiah 40, 29 through 31 states God giveth power to the faith. To them that have no might, he increases the strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall ultimately fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall receive their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall be a God, they shall be of good courage, and they and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm Psalms 31 verse 24. Miss me, but let me go. When I come to the end of the road, and the sun has set for me. I want to write in a gloom filled room. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss, miss me a little, but not for long, and not with your heads bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this journey that we all must take and each must go along. It's all a part of the master's plan. A step on the road to home. When you are lonely and sick in that heart, go to the friends we knew. I'm sorry, go to the friends we know. And bury your sorrows in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. Resolve that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and one kept on file for the church records. Humbly submitted this first day of June 2019, Reverend George E. Hill, pastor in the Greater Mount Pilgrim Missionary Church family. And I have one more that I will recognize, Starlight Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor James F. Muchen, pastor of Sister Barbara Ellis.
but certainly he will welcome you. Every place I go, I don't always feel welcome. Me 
and become a vegetarian, but you're still decaying. Because the scripture says, and tell me, in three different places that I am decaying. Because in Romans 5 and 12, it tells me, death spread to all men. We're decaying. Genesis 3 and 19 tell me I'm decaying because the scripture says, dust, I came. And dust, I shall return. I heard him tell me through Solomon and Ecclesiastes 3 and 2, just as that is a time to live, that is a time to die. I'm decaying. And each and every day I feel my decay coming.
believer in Christ that we have an assurance that when this decaying body is dissolved, we who have washed our blood and have been crucified one, we who have accepted Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, we who have washed our robes in the heat of the day, we have somewhere else to go. We can go to a new world. Well, Hill, you've been talking about this new world. Tell me oh, where is this new world that we're going to? Let God bless you with this new world that we're going to. It's a place where the wicked will cease from troubling. It's a place where the weary